Hey crafty friends, today I'm creating a masculine interactive mini album with a uh, materials kit, with a scrapbooking kit that includes all these amazing papers, embellishments and chipboards. Uh, you can get that at photographsandmemoriesscrapbooking.com um, Just uh, google it, photographs and memories scrapbooking on Google you'll find it and then the kit is there and just you can purchase the kit and then come here to the video and watch how to create this amazing mini album so I'm starting with cutting black cardstock in half that means 6 by 12 cut to 12 by 12 black cardstock and then I'm going to score them on the six inch line and then move a quarter to the left quarter of an inch and score again so this way I'll have sort of a spine because these are going to be folded pages so I'm going to do that with all four pieces score them on the six inch line move a quarter of an inch to the left and score again that's our first step and now just fold them and burnish it well with your bone folder and then you'll see that spine that is created and we do that because then I'm going to add papers and then later you're going to add photos and we need the space to fit it all in so I have here black chipboard pages that are going to be the base for my mini album and I'm going to attach the four folded black cardstock pages to the chipboard pages so the first one goes with the fold opening to the right like this make sure to align the fold with the edge of the chipboard so this is going to the right and then we are going to cover that with amazing six by six pages that we have in the kit um, you can use the same order as I'm using or you can change the order of the pages it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you cover all the black chipboards and cardstocks. Now because we um, scored the black cardstock the base is 6 by 6 but if you remember we scored it on the 6 inch line and then moved it quarter of an inch to the left so the right side is a bit smaller so you see just make sure not to glue that on the fold line you see we have a little bit of a margin there with the paper so if that bothers you you can just go ahead and cut that or simply leave it like that it doesn't really matter uh, the album will work great both ways so I'm covering and you see once you cover it with a page from the other side then it doesn't show and everything looks really great and professional and pretty um, but I'm going to cut a little bit there just to make sure that it's all even but again it's not necessary so our first flap is ready the second flap is going to be a plain chipboard page there is no flap here and then the third one I'm going to adhere to glue down that black chipboard this time the flap opens to the top just turning it to make it easier to cover with papers but this is the way it's going to be so if you're using a pattern that you need to make sure that the direction of the pattern is correct so this page is going to open to the top so make sure to adjust your patterns accordingly so again cover the black cardstock with papers you have plenty of papers and again if you have a margin that you want to cut then just remove it and the next page is just a covered chipboard like this 
the third page the flap is going to be opened to the left and always remember to align the fold line with the edge of the chipboard and again cover make sure to align the papers with the fold line as well because you want the flap to open and close easily and then the front add that paper too the papers are really beautiful it's all masculine but it has a little bit of red in it so that is really cool the next page again is just a covered chipboard see you have soccer you have all kinds of uh, wine bottles and all kinds of patterns and the last page is going to be opened to the bottom so again if you're adding a paper with a pattern make sure not to overlook that because you don't want things to be upside down later on and again cover the cardstock with the papers and now we are ready to assemble our mini album so what I'm going to do is arrange the different flaps and pages and then I'm going to show you how to bind them all together slowly I'm just arranging how I want it to be it can be a little bit confusing so we'll do it slowly page by page so not everything can fit in the frame of my camera but this is basically how it's going to go but we're going to do it page by page so first we're going to bind the flap that opens to the right with a plain covered chipboard page so this one's going to be this one is the ordinary page and this one is flap opening to the right now what I did is cut the 6x6 six six papers in half and simply glued one half between the two pages and then the other half on the other side I'm going to show you how to do it right now the next page is the flap that opens to the top we are going to bind it to attach it to the plain chipboard page from the other side so on one side we have a flap opening to the right and then on the left side we're going to have a flap opening to the top like this so open the flap cut your 6x6 six six page in half so you'll have two pieces measuring six by three like this now I'm going to show you how to connect the two together how to bind them it's very important to leave a gap between the two pages so they'll have room to close if you put them close together then you want to close your mini album that won't work so you have to leave I'm aligning first of all flip them over I'm aligning them with the lines on my craft mat and leave at least a quarter of an inch gap and then glue the first three by six piece then flip them back and do the same with the other piece put the glue on this is the same way by the way that I have attached the first flap to this page same way exactly and then once that's glue when when the glue is still wet you take your bone folder and make sure to burnish the edges of the two pages and create that gusset in the center like this and you do that while the glue is still wet because you need to teach the paper where to go and when it's dry when the glue is dry the paper would not move and then you'll have a problem so do this while the glue is still wet and now you see it's closed make sure 
press it against the table, make sure it's straight, and then you'll see we've now binded the three pieces together. Now we are going to add another piece to our mini album. This one goes to the side. All of that is going to be bind it from the right and now let's flip that over and we're going to add on the left side another plain chipboard page that we've covered this is the back side first we always attach the back side now you see again leave a slightly bigger gap a slightly bigger than quarter of an inch even say maybe, maybe even almost half an inch. It's better to have a, a wider gap that you need than a smaller one. So now the front add that piece of 3 by 6 paper and again I remind you while the glue is wet to take your bone folder and crease the folds where the pages or the edge of the pages you see that the paper will move to compensate for that but that's very important okay press it against the table make sure it's straight now we're going to do the left side. So first, one piece of, see these are the three parts of the left side. So we start on the left side, we have the piece that opens with the flap that opens to the left. And on the right side, we have a plain chipboard piece. And we're going to bind them together like we did all the other parts. So we flip that over, leave a quarter of an inch gap and then attach it with a 3 by 6 piece of paper. And then flip it back and do the same thing on the other side. Put enough glue and then remember while the glue is still wet take your bone folder and guide the paper the next piece we're going to attach is the flap that opens to the top and again you flip it over add one piece of 3 by 6 paper and then do the same thing on the other side just make sure it's straight and now the gap should be slightly wider than quarter of an inch I would say 3 eighths of an inch Flip it over and use the other piece of paper. That's why it's really important to use wet glue in this project because you need to guide the paper and make sure that it goes where you want it to go and then the folds will be exactly the right way. It will be really difficult to do that with a dry glue okay now we have to attach the two pieces together now since they're both really wide really thick and bulky we need a really wide gap in between them so I would say um, I would say three quarters of an inch at least maybe even an inch somewhere between three quarters of an inch to an inch would be the best so 
so you attach on the back side you attach your 3x6 paper flip everything and then attach your other piece and it's amazing how two pieces of paper can bind an entire mini album and again don't forget to use your bone folder for the fold lines and the gusset and everything needs to be really burnished to work properly now you can see how that looks really pretty and now all you need to do is cover the places that still need covering with more of the beautiful papers I'm just cutting different sizes of squares to make it a little bit more interesting just make sure you don't forget any parts uncovered because we don't want any black parts have one more left let's add that and I think we have covered everything so now I want to work on the front of the mini album so I'm going to add the word man because this is going to be my man mini album and you have that little bit of little small wooden frame which I glued a piece of white paper to the back side of the frame and added the word my And now I'm simply going to add some of those gears and metal embellishments around the text. This part is completely up to you how you want to embellish your front cover. You can decide that you want other embellishments or you want to arrange them differently from what I did. Now for the inside, I'm going to add this beautiful, beautiful postcard uh, looking images that are vintage hobbies of men so what I'm going to do is take some of the papers that I still have and cut them in half that means three by six and then I'm going to create flaps for these um, it's not exactly a postcard because it's much thinner but let's call it a postcard and what I'm basically doing is folding the 3 by 6 piece and attaching it to the postcard and then I have a flap like this to add journaling or photos and I'm going to add some of them opening sideways and some of them opening to the top this one will be a pocket so you apply glue to three sides of your purse card and then you have a pocket to insert uh, photos or whatever you want um, again I'm cutting another piece of paper to half folding it attaching half of it to the page and half of it to the postcard and then you have a flap really easy like this don't forget to trim the excess add some glue on the back and then attach it to your page and you have a flap like this that opens and you can add journaling and photos so I'm going to add these postcards these images all over the mini album creating flaps this will give us much more room for extra photos and extra journaling and this is why we if you remember in the beginning that we uh, created fold lines in the black 
cardstock and I told you we need the space for the photos this is why because when we add stuff inside the mini album you don't want it to be uneven you need the room to add more photos so I've added some of the postcards as flaps and some of them as pockets like I've showed you now on the other side these are really pretty so one, one flap opening to the top one to the left like this and another pocket three sides and then the front is open now I want to add some details so I have these tags that basically allow us to tuck things under them and what I want to do is take a 12 by 12 paper and then cut it to four for two pieces measuring four by twelve and then I'm going to score them at three and six and then fold them in an accordion shape like this and then the, I'll have small mini albums inside the large mini album this one is going to be tucked in here and then I'm going to add another smaller one these are all in the kit all be found in the kit this is going to be tucked here and you see how much room you have for the journaling and the photos and I'm going to add another one here to add to tuck a little bit of journaling or some photos and then add some embellishments and you can go ahead and add more embellishments that you have in your stash or in the kit I'm adding this beautiful ribbon which also comes in the kit I'm going to add one in the front too just adding a few more details to my cover and there's also a beautiful leather ribbon leather piece in the kit that I'm going to use because it's really pretty and fun so I have to add that too this is a really wonderful kit that you can create this beautiful beautiful mini album interactive with so much room for photos and journaling and now I'm opening it in the center this min the mini album and I'm just going to add a few charms on the side there and tie it all together with the ribbon make sure it's nice and tight have beautiful charm there so this is the finished mini album I'm going to show you how it looks these are the charms on the side I also added a little chain let's move that from so opens to the left you have and again open and another open you have all the mini albums and flaps in there for added journaling and photos and then it opens to the right with all the flaps and pockets that we've added so I hope you really like this mini album you can get the kit at photographsmemories.net um, I'll put a link under the video as well. Thank you much for joining me and I'll see you next time.